Hi, my name is Chad Boone. I'm with Mantis Airsoft, located in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I've been involved in Airsoft for two and a half years as a player. Uh, I'm an Airsoft tech, which means I work on guns, upgrade guns, fix guns. Uh, been doing that for about two years professionally. I also design operations and run those around the southeastern area. I want to talk to you a little bit about the dangers of the airsoft guns. Um, as with any toy gun, you want to treat them like you would treat a real gun. Uh, some of the most common dangers with the airsoft gun is shooting your eye out, shooting your friend's eye out, um, shooting teeth out. Uh, there is safety equipment to protect you from this. So when you're in an area where people don't have their safety gear on, you want to make sure that you drop your mag out, clear your weapon, make sure there's no BBs in this gun, and that you put your gun on safety. And that way it's going to prevent anybody from getting hurt. Uh, the BBs do travel at a high velocity. Um, there are some pretty heavyweight BBs. They will leave marks on your skin when you get shot. Um, they can actually make you bleed a little bit. Um, you want to definitely make sure you protect your face. Um, you can wear your, your vest, oftentimes will protect you, but you want to wear long sleeves, maybe some heavier grade pants just to kind of protect you from the hits of those BBs. As far as the guns go, shooting, that's what you have to worry about as far as dangers. Different batteries, you have to think about those too. You've got lithium ion batteries or lipoly batteries that can actually burst into flames if the system short circuits out. So you want to keep an eye on water in your system. Um, other than that, as long as you follow those guidelines, you'll be okay. All right, and as far as your gas guns go, they do have releases in them and safeties that if they become overpressurized, they will release the gas and drop back down to a normal level or completely empty the magazine. Uh, one thing you do want to keep in mind on, say, a hot day when you fill your magazines in the morning and it's cooler, as it heats up during the day, you might want to release a little bit of that gas just to keep the chamber equalized. Uh, a lot of your other gas items, such as grenades, they're going to have the same thing. Um, so you just want to keep an eye on that pressure, but if they do blow, they're just going to empty the gas and that's going to be it.